One month after America's entry into war, the Selective Service Act was passed by Congress, requiring all male citizens between the ages of 21 and 30 to report to their assigned polling location and register for the draft. Klondike was located in Graham County, which fell under the jurisdiction of Sheriff Robert Franklin McBride. Sheriff McBride lived in Safford, was an active member of the Mormon Church, and was an ambitious lawman known for the vigor with which he pursued bootleggers. McBride promptly assigned Kane Wooten as draft registrar in the Klondike District. By the time the draft date rolled around, it would have been nearly impossible for anyone, even the isolated power family, not to have taken notice of the extremely well-publicized announcements in the newspapers regarding the draft. Young men of draft age dutifully registered all over the United States. At the Klondike store, men from the nearby Aravipa region lined up, including the Wootens and first cousins of Tom and John Power. But John and Tom failed to appear. If you're not benefiting from the things that it offers, government's a burden. It goes back to this notion of probably what Jeff would have experienced and, and, and maybe what he instilled in his children as, 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 as they moved into Arizona. I mean, I'm not getting anything for it. He saw the war in terms of a hindrance to his big gold mining project. And suddenly, the government wanted to take his sons away. And his sons were working the mine. The government authorized county sheriffs to arrest draft evaders and turn them over to federal officials. Despite the threat of prison time, approximately three million men failed to register. Things became highly charged after this point, and there were witch hunts trying to find unsympathetic, unpatriotic individuals and so the heavy hand of law suddenly becomes a factor in what's happening uh, in the southern counties in Arizona. Even, you know, even uh, the wars we've had have never, have never really reached the hysteria that World War I did in terms of uh, uh, cracking down on dissenters. Most lawmen sidestep risky skirmishes with known slackers. One sheriff in neighboring Gila County was less than enthusiastic over the job because, as his deputy said, it meant either killing these fellas or getting killed. But the Mormon sheriff from Graham County was different. McBride zeroed in on slackers like an ace fighter pilot. McBride distinguishes himself among all the sheriffs in Arizona at this time because less than two weeks after that first draft date, June 5th, he's already writing a letter to his superiors in the federal government. There are also at least two people who are hiding in the mountains and have positively refused to register from the first. I suppose I can get them in time, but it will be at some expense. If it is that necessary to make a special effort to get these parties at once, I would suggest that you send a government man, and I will be glad to do all I can to assist. Sheriff McBride. 